So I think now we are moving to the generator. Okay. Thank you very much, much Axel Alessandro. So next setting we already saw in the ESD videos that you're changing the current of your ICC quite often to different settings. It's and not ICC any longer. <laughs> no. It's Vio now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, earlier days it was always just yeah, the yes. blue or the yellow <laughs> tipping. Yeah, you're right. And now we have a lot of possibilities how to change them. And from the ESD video from today, we have a short In case of having minor setting. bleeding like this, we can easily stop it by applying cross tip of dual knife. In this situation, we usually use spray quag 1.2. This is usually good enough to stop this kind of minor bleeding. I usually switch to very low setting of forced quag, which is 0.3. Forced quag please, and hook this blood vessel with the open tip of dual knife, then coagulate it until it completely turns to whitish. Now vascular network turns to completely whitish, Swift quag, please. Then we can s safely dissect here without having any bleeding. So I think from that side, I got a lot of settings. And for everybody starting with ESD, he's going somewhere for training and taking the settings for the machine home. Uh, now, Hisha. How did you get your experience with the knives and also with the changing from the Vios 300 to the Vios 3? And do you still improve these settings? And what do you recommend and where do we find these settings? Uh, initially, I uh, just wanted to cut the target tissue, but as a result of cutting too much, it caused lots of bleeding. Then I, I reduced the um, uh, effect uh, or sometimes maximum power and try and error, uh, then find the appropriate setting for the uh, safer mucosal incision and safer submucosal dissection. And uh, uh, coming from the uh, BIO 300, uh, I uh, realized that the BIO 3 is more precise and we can uh, cut the tissue uh, more effectively uh, with much less bleeding. But the uh, previous uh, software uh, also reduced the uh, power when we uh, use the uh, forced coag for hemostasis. That's why With it didn't Eddie? work well. Yeah. Sorry. Then uh, I uh, recognized that uh, for the knife tip coagulation, the spray coag is much better. But now, uh, Aave uh, company uh, uh, improved the uh, uh, power of the forced quag, uh, then probably we can uh, use the same setting uh, of forced quag for the uh, hemostasis uh, in the near future. Uh, so it's kind of experience, uh, but uh, it depends on the skills of the endoscopist. We can find the best solution depending on the skills of the endoscopist. Okay, thank you very much for our EndoSwiss channel. We want to place the setting for the dual knife with the Airby Vio 300 and Vio 3, which we developed together with Professor Yahagi. And, or he mainly wrote it down <laughs> for us. And we want to publish this next week then. Uh, Professor Inouye, how did you find out about your settings and what do you use for the triangle tip knife? So, um, thank you very much. Uh, that is a very important question. So uh, when we, uh, the best uh, energy setting, uh, when we use uh, uh, TTJ, uh, triangle TJ, so at the time, so spray coagulation, uh, 50 watt effect two, that is a uh, uh, best um, matching uh, to the device. So uh, it's not necessary to uh, actually contacting to the tissue. So uh, previous, uh, 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 Stefan Zivart, so here's a demonstration of the squamous cell carcinoma ESD. So like that, so it's not necessary to uh, hook the tissue up or coop the, uh, uh, pick the tissue up. It's not necessary, uh, just uh, place the uh, uh, triangle plate close to the tissue and then using the splay mode, we can uh, dissect the submicrosal fibers. So, 
uh, I recommend this play, uh, 50 watt to 32. Uh, even for uh, poem procedure. So, so uh, for example, poem, uh, during poem procedure, um, we most of the case we do not use a coagulaspa uh, anymore. So just using the spray coagulation, even for uh, poem procedure. Thank you.